yes, we are at that stage of the day where we talk about all the action when it comes to the World Cup, of course, and with the business end of the group stages being kicked off last night, the final round of matches are set to be determining which sides progress and which sides crash out. All right, so we are live. It is in Qatar. It's happening right now. So let's say good morning to everybody out in Qatar right now. Uh, hello over there from your Feel Good Breakfast show. Now, Qatar, who were already eliminated, faced the Netherlands and Senegal took on Ecuador. The USA squared off with Iran and England played rivals Wales. This all happened yesterday. And uh, just to plug you in on uh, first uh, up, we had Ismail Assad, who kept his cool to score a first half penalty and Captain Khalidou Kalibali netted a second goal as Senegal beat Ecuador 2-1 to earn a place in the last 16. I'm here with Lorenzo, though, man. You obviously yeah, got yeah. all the goods when it comes to sport. Ooh. What do you think of the action so far? What do you think of that game? Yo, guy, firstly, congratulations to our brothers from Africa. Yes! Come on, man. Come yes! on. We are showing them that we need more places in the World Cup. Yeah, Let's man. Put you know, it I was like getting that. my hair... I was getting my fade cupped in uh, yesterday uh, while that game was happening, and a lot of the foreign nationals were yeah. losing their minds. Yeah. It's so cool to see how many people are in and here for yeah. this and how a nation can come together no matter where you are. No matter where we are right. at the moment. And, and I'm loving that. And it's, and it's perfect. We need more African representation yes. at the World Cup. And to go that last 16, even better, now we need Ghana to come through as oh, well. Yeah. You know, Cameroon, <clears throat> one of those things. But then again, uh, props to, to Valencia, uh, the captain of Ecuador. He comes out only at the World Cup, and yeah. he, he did. He, Still he fired. Yeah, he, definitely. He, uh, captains run all the way just stumbled at the end, but they should be proud of themselves. They definitely should. Now, listen, obviously, for the Senegal fans, there was non-stop action and non-stop celebrations happening in the stadium. The players literally celebrating with them <laughs> after the final whistle. I mean, look at this little clip we got yeah. here. Oh. Football Senegal uh, coming through with this one. It is erupting, man. When I was in the stadium for the Saudi Arabia yeah, yeah, yeah. game with Argentina, this is what stands out for me in the World Cup. The way the fans lose their minds and get behind their players. It's like they've won the yeah. World Cup. Some of these I games know. mean so much to them. It's amazing. Yeah, we don't, we, don't, we don't always get to see this. And it's so nice now with social media. We, we're part of it. We, we get involved with it as well. So I'm yeah. loving that. And, that and listen, yeah. not only in the stadium, right? Yeah. The celebrations <laughs> continue. I mean, there were also scenes of celebrations on the streets of the capital in Dakar. I mean, look yeah. at this. Come in on. their hometown, celebrating their people. <laughs> all the way, all the way. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's amazing. I mean, a global event that has so much impact that it can literally bring a nation to a standstill just so that they can celebrate. 20, That's what it's about. 2010, all over again. I'm loving this. Whenever I see these vibes within our, our, our yeah. African countries, it's like it brings me, it brings me back to 2010. It's, it's like, waka, waka, Oh, hey, yes, hey. man. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's move on and let's talk about some more of the action. The USA also took on Iran, having drawn their previous two matches and obviously needing a win to guarantee progression. So there's a lot of pressure on them for that. Head coach Greg Berhalter knew how important the game was and gave this team talk after the draw against England. Check it this out. Iran's going to be a difficult game. It's going to be a tough game. You're going to need the same focus, the same intensity. Trust me, it's going to be a difficult game. Right? Enjoy this. I think you should enjoy this because this Lorenzo, game. These are those pivotal you. moments. I yeah. know. Yeah. We're dying to hear this, but at the same time, it's important to obviously mention this is that moment that creates that turning point for many teams at a yeah. stage like this. It gets the team waking up. Hello. Yeah. You realize where you are. Come on. And that's one of those moments right there. Yeah. Right? Any given Sunday all over again. Yeah, man. We need those moments. And it clearly it. worked, right? It does. It, it clearly did. worked. I it mean, did. look, the USA obviously claiming a narrow win, and that was all thanks to the yeah. goal from Christian Pulisic at the, uh, well, that was obviously when USA secured a second place in Group B and a place in the last 16. Yeah. The business end, as we mentioned, right? On top of this, Wales also took on England, knowing that nothing less than a win would do if they wanted to progress in the match. Obviously, saw England run out 3-0 winners. And that thanks to a brace from Marcus Rashford mm -hmm. as the three Lions secured top spot in Group B. What do you make of Marcus, man, at the moment? Look, I, I, need to up, give, eh? uh, I need to give props to Foden as well. Yeah. He did absolutely well because the thing is, he set up quite a few mm. and then came back as well. Battle of Britain, lots to play for between those two nations. But uh, we all knew that England was going to take it. Yeah. We just didn't know what the scoreline was going to yeah, be. Yeah, we couldn't get the prediction quite on it. But again, a win nonetheless. Ahead of the game, Welsh attacker Dan James gifted tickets to the volunteers at the Wales training base in a classy touch from the Federation. I absolutely right. love this. This yeah. is what it's about. No, definitely. Always paying it forward, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing. And uh, this is just a clip of that actually 
taking place going down right now. Football fans must be losing their mind. Imagine seeing someone like this. Well, let's head to the world of TikTok. Yeah. Obviously, a TikTok user was claiming something crazy. Listen to this. Oh, Claims to be a time traveler. He shared a bizarre clip showing the final of the World Cup and included teams and the score. Now, the user goes by the name World Cup Time Traveler. Now, he shared this television footage of full-time scenes of matches which they claim to have taken in the future. <laughs> what do you even mean? He's so, ahead of his time. We had the octopus the last time around predicting. Yeah. Now things have just stepped up. We've got a whole human yeah, yeah. being going into yeah. us. I mean, what do you make of this footage? Oh, like, <sighs> interesting. You know what, eh? uh, I'm going to say that obviously we, we know that some people are going to want to predict things, and yeah. especially the Brazilians, so they're putting a lot of things out there. <laughs> we saw that, you know, AI's coming out yes. with the whole thing with Ronaldo and Messi sitting on a chessboard, mm. them predicting mm. that's going to be the final. 100%. Are they moving to the same club? Yeah, I don't know. the well, time look, travelers are there. We're live, <laughs> obviously, coming to Qatar. So let's say goodbye to our Qatarians right now. And uh, thank you once again for plugging into this one. Lorenzo, it's always great having yeah, you out here, better. having your expertise and advice, and having a good chat about all things World Cup. I mean, there's so much to chat about always, but uh, yeah. glad and good to have a refreshing mind like yours. Always, out here. always. Uh, I'm ready for tonight's game? Uh, there's uh, going to be some uh, upsets, and I think uh, I'm going to support the Aussies down under oh, against Aussie, Denmark. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Oi, oi, oi! <laughs> so uh, I, I'm thinking the Aussies are going to, the Aussies might just cause an upset uh, later today. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, looking forward to the action, <laughs> of course, and looking forward to more action coming right here from the Field Breakfast Show. Don't go anywhere.